the loss of a legend. Miami Dolphins great Nick Bonacani passes away at the age of 78. He was a leader on the only NFL team with a perfect season. And tonight there are countless tributes for the Hall of Fame player and Hall of Fame person. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at Dolphins headquarters in Davie tonight. Hank. Well, the dolphin flag flies at half staff here at the uh, training center in Davie, Florida. We can tell you that uh, doing the story today, most interesting. Sure, they recount his fabulous career uh, in football, but many say that what he did after football was amazing and far exceeded what he did on the gridiron. Let's take a look. I can't remember how to lace my shoes. Hall of Fame linebacker Nick Bonacotti died in hospice care in New York after battling dementia. His family believes it was brought on by football-related head trauma. You know, he had had a bout with uh, pneumonia and struggling. Um, you know, thank God he's in a better place right now and uh, his suffering is over. So um, other than that, you know, uh, I, I like to think about the good times that we had, you know, going back to when I first came in the league and. 1974 and uh, you know, got to know Nick very well as the team leader, the guy that sort of led the defense, but uh, also led the organization. Nick Bonacondi is remembered for being part of the undefeated 1972 Dolphins season. Gritty, undersized, on the gridiron, always reading what was coming next. A true football Hall of Famer. First time I'd ever been in a meeting, in a football meeting with a player it was smarter than any coach in the room, and, and he carried that onto the field with him. Bonacani went on to being a lawyer, a businessman, sports agent, and broadcaster. But his greatest legacy was founding the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis after his son Mark was left paralyzed, making a tackle in 1985. Nick donated his life to his son and to our cause. And, and Nick really stimulated a renaissance in neuroscience research. And now Mark, who called his father his leader, mentor, and champion, will carry on the cause. And, and really one of the few guys that you can think of in the National Football League that are Hall of Famers, they were probably did more important and bigger things post-football career. Bonacani's most recent football headlines were gut-wrenching as he opened up about his deteriorating mental health. He vowed to donate his brain to CTE research to study the effects of football and what it might have had on his condition. Nick Bonacani raised tens of millions of dollars for the uh, Miami Project. He was 78 when he passed away. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.